um, John here. Welcome to another video. I um, hope you're all doing well. I'm in my pajamas again. You will notice that this will become quite a um, current theme because uh, at the end of the day, my PC is downstairs and I'm not like, comfortable doing vlogs while my mum's around. Um, so, yeah. If I had it upstairs, I could do vlogs if I wanted to. Um, but I can't, so I've got to try to choose and when I can. I can't sleep most of the time at night anyway, so I might as well come downstairs and do some vlogs. So, yeah. But this is, um, reasons why I don't dress like a goth anymore. Um, basically, because I find it too expensive. There's loads of other reasons which I'll go through, obviously. But yeah, it's gothic clothing. Um, I was looking online at some stuff tonight um, and for a pair of trousers to fit me um, you're looking at... Uh, well I'm not even sure if they fit me um, I'll come to that bit later on um, but a pair of trousers you're looking at between 50 and 100, 120 pound depending on how many straps and zips and buckles and spikes and stuff you've got on it you know, a plain what pair you're looking at about 50 pound the more elaborate ones you're looking at knocking on 100 or more um and that's if you look for actual goth clothing um i'm sure i could probably find it cheaper if i was just to use keywords like um a bondage trousers or but again that's quite a if you use certain keywords, the more you can um, kind of hike up the price because people are looking for it. Um, so like, like cyber, cyber bondage, goth, stuff like that. Whereas, um, if I was to look for something like plain black trousers with straps, for example, that could possibly come up a little bit cheaper. Um, or kind of plain black trousers with zips or you know, tears or something like that, I don't know. But then you'd have to then adapt them to look in your style. Um, which I think would probably work out just as expensive just to buy them the full price of the actual gothic stuff. I'm not sure. Depends on how much straps and zips and all that lot cost. I don't know how elaborate you want to have it. Um, but that leads me on to the next one that I've just mentioned. They don't do it in my size. As you can tell, I am quite a chunky bloke. Um, I have like a 44, 46 inch waist. I wear size double XL t-shirts, double XL trousers, um, sometimes triple XL. Um, what I've noticed is if you go on to gothic shopping sites their double XL if you look at the sizing guide is only something like a, um, a 36 or 38 inch waist so you know it's not really a true a true sizing it's as if gothic sizing has their own kind of sizing um, on attitude clothing for example I once saw a nice pair of cyber bondage jeans that I wanted and they had them in double XL. But when I checked the size, a double XL was only, I think, a 32 inch waist. You know, and I'm like, well, how can you know uh, have different size guides? I know women have had this problem for years, um, but I think it just seems a bit weird how, for some reason, gothic clothing seems to be smaller than normal regular stuff um, for example one of the websites I was looking at last night I found um, clothing double XL and it only worked out that it was a 38-40 inch waist which again isn't going to fit me I could lose weight but you know, this with my depression is really hard because I kind of couldn't for eat and I bored and eat um, so it's kind of 
that's stuck in a rut. Um, and obviously, as I've just said, you know, I'm chunky. Again, it's another reason why I don't dress up kind of goth. Even if they did do my sizes, I don't think kind of having the white face with a brown beard or someone being so chunky, I don't think a pale skin quite works as well as when a person is like a normal or skinny build. Um, I could be wrong, you know, there could be people, quite large people out there who, who pull the image off quite well. But I personally have never seen it. You know, it's I would have to dye my beard black. I would have to find a way of kind of whereabouts do you stop with the the white skin? Um, would you blend it in? Would you have a defined line? Would you wear hats? Would you wear wigs? Um, I don't know. I, I just don't think it works if you're quite a chunky guy. Um, also, I don't think it really works with glasses unless you've got really funky kind of steampunk um, or thick black glasses. I'm not sure. Um, another reason why I don't is because my new rocks don't really fit me properly anymore. Um, I've got um, knocking on 10 pairs. I've got a video about it. I might link it in the description. I might not. Um, but yeah, I've got knocking on 10 pairs of new rocks and they don't fit me properly anymore, which is like a grand's worth of new rocks just sitting there, kind of not doing anything. Um, when I put on a lot of weight through my depression and working at night, um, my feet change shape and the new rocks don't quite fit me as perfectly anymore. Sometimes I can't even get in them. And other times that it's not generally as comfortable as what they used to be. Um, so I tend not to wear them. I've got a pair of Madfish trainers, um, which I'm hoping to wear. Um, which are kind of like a vegan, kind of cheap, kind of um, Nevoc inspired footwear. So you know, hopefully I can wear them um, and they'll still look quite cool. Um, yeah, mainly one of the main other main other main reasons. I mean, all these are main reasons. But another reason, the final reason, is because I'm lazy. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's uh, getting dressed up with a nice pair of trousers, a nice top, a nice coat, makeup, hair. You know, it all takes time, and I just don't have the patience or the effort or anything in me. Again, that's going kind of connected to my depression. I literally just get up, find the first lot of clothing that comes to my hand, and that is me done then for the rest of the day. You know, I'm not willing to spend 15, 20 minutes, if not longer, on getting uh, an image ready. Um, I would love to. You know, all these reasons, you know, they're all fixable. They're all kind of not really solid reasons. And I would love to be able to fix every single one of them and become the goth that I used to be. But, um, yeah, depression has kind of got a grip and made life quite awkward for me. Um, yeah, that's really all I want to say. That's like the reason why I don't wear goth clothes anymore. I consider myself to be a goth, still. I only wear black and um, with white highlights, like white lighting or patterns or logos or whatever. Um, so yeah, I try to be like a, a more normal kind of goth um, and not a, a fancy goth. So yeah, um, hope you all see you in another video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, bye.